Hi everyone. Let's do a quick demo here to show you a little bit about the Hopin platform that we'll be using for the Vermont Fest conference. So let's get into it here. So the first thing I want to do is just give you a little tour of the basics. So when you log into Hopin and into, into the conference platform, you'll find that uh, it's set up with a, a static navigation here on the left hand side of the window. Uh, the little pinwheel will actually take you kind of out of the conference, but not out of Hopin, uh, since it is a platform for conferences. If you have attended or are attending soon other events hosted in, in uh, Hop, and you'll see all of those events lined up for you there as you know, these are coming up. These are your past events. Um, so to stay within our conference, don't click the pinwheel. Uh, the reception area is as, as it sounds, it's the reception area. And in there, you're going to find some content about the, you'll find the schedule and some other basic information. All the sessions, all the workshop sessions will be under that sessions link. Uh, the networking section we may or may not use. So we're gonna, we're gonna think about that. Uh, it it kind of sets up a speed dating like thing. So we're not sure it's the most appropriate thing for what we're trying to get done. Uh, and then of course the expo floor. So if you can go to the expo and you can visit our, our, our uh, vendors and sponsors and, and see what they've got, what solutions they have to share with you. And in the middle here, we have the content section. And so of course, anytime you're in a session room or in an expo booth, the primary content is going to show up here in the middle. And then of course, there is the sidebar over here. The sidebar is going to be where you find the participant lists, the chat box, polls, things like that. So at the top of the sidebar, you'll always find some of these interface elements, just so you kind of know what they are. So of course, right here, we've got this little arrow that actually will hide the sidebar. So if you're looking at the screen and you can't find the sidebar, it's probably because you clicked on that little arrow and it pushed it over to the side and it hit it. Uh, but then you'll see that exact same little icon, except the arrow will be pointing the other way to expand it again. The little one just simply tells you how many people are logged in at that particular moment in time. Then we've got uh, the uh, the little alarm bell that will put, you know, just like anything you expect, you, you'll get a little number on it. If it says, oh, you've got an alert, those alerts most likely are ones that are coming from us at the conference. Uh, so whether we're kind of trying to give everyone a heads up about something, You'll probably find it there. The little envelope is if somebody is texting you in the text chat or they're maybe even requesting a, a private video chat with you, you're going to see a little uh, number popping up there for the number of unread new messages. And then of course where it says RW, that's going to be, uh, that's your profile. So you can click on there and you can change your profile if you need to, uh, you can put a photograph on there, you can change your, uh, some of the links, like you can add a Twitter account or your LinkedIn or, you know, whatever you want to do there. Okay. And then, of course, down here we have the chat, polls, and people. And people, of course, is all the participants. So as we look at this, a couple things to note. When you're in a static navigation area, meaning you're kind of not in a session room, you're not in an expo booth, but you are in the, in the event, there is a universal or event chat. Okay, And as, as you chat in that with the texting, everybody there is going to see it. So it's a bit like hitting reply all. So just be careful when you're using the chat to know who you're chatting with. Are you chatting with someone privately? Are you chatting in a session, for example, in a, in a specific session like this? So here you would have, I'm just in a session chat. You could click event there and, and it would go back to the event chat. But if you just want to chat with people in the room, so to speak, and the presenter would see that and everything else, you, that's what you'd want to do. If you're in a booth, same thing. You can either be shooting, uh, chatting directly into the booth and only those people in the booth at the time are going to see that chat. Uh, or again, that event chat, which is that reply all. So just be conscious of that because sometimes folks get in here and they just start chatting in the big event chat when they really intended to be chatting into a smaller audience. Okay, and if we go over to the people tab, you'll see the list of all the folks who are registered for the conference. And if you click on a person, in fact, here I've, I've clicked on Ron Weasley, we can see that Ron uh, has a, a little tagline on his profile. He's got his LinkedIn, his Twitter, and a, a URL to a web page there. It's got a little bit of a uh, description of who he is. And then you see it says invite to video call, kind of in the way there, and start start typing. So the start typing, obviously, you click in there and start chatting, and you can just text chat with somebody. And after you've chatted with them a bit, you might say, oh, hey, you know, this might be easier over video. Click that button, and in your text chat, it will pop up a link, and it'll do the same thing on Ron's end. And Ron will see a thing that says, you know, Jeff is inviting you to a video chat. And if you both click the button, it'll turn on a one-to-one -one video between the two of you. Uh, none of those videos are recorded, so don't worry about that. Um, the only recordings that are made are those when you are in a session room. If you're in a session room, it's going to record those videos, uh, but not when you're doing any of these private chats. Okay, and then of course, when you, if someone is trying to chat you and you're not really paying attention, you'll start to get these little updates up there on that envelope. 
you have any questions about this, please let me know. Otherwise, if you haven't already done so, register for Vermont Fest, vitalearn.org slash Vermont Fest. Pound sign register. Uh, you don't have to put that part on. Thanks, everybody.